Hey, Tom here. In this quick video, we're gonna have a look at some issues with the surface grinder and then grind our mag chuck. Number one correction from the last video is balancing the wheel. Now, I didn't do it properly. There is a tapered arbor that the wheel goes on and when balancing, you should balance the wheel and the arbor all as one. Looking at the manual for this machine, it kind of looked like the spindle and the arbor that the wheel sat on was all one piece. I just didn't even consider that that could come off. Now, a clarification on lifting. It might have looked spare at the moment, uncontrolled, not well thought out. I can tell you that's not the case. I spent over a week planning that and every move along the way was a controlled move and a controlled lift. I had to work with some of the limitations I've got here. Number one, I'm a cheapskate, so I wanted to avoid getting equipment in if I could help it. My door's not very high, so I can't bring big equipment in. I don't have concrete outside, so lifting something off there and then getting it in here probably wouldn't work so well. There's also a big step into my shed. Now, a forklift could have picked it up off the trailer, but he would have just dumped it inside the door. He wouldn't have been able to move it back here where I want it. So I'd have to come up with something regardless. Okay, now onto new content. I was never satisfied with the gauge block balance jig I made last time. So I decided to make a new jig and practice grinding while I was at it. It's simply a heavy base with two thin sides and a level top to run the arbor on. Off camera, I made an extractor to remove the arbor. Then I removed the wheel and then installed the balance arbor from the last video. I'm using a 60 grit wheel and I think the results are good enough to tackle the chuck now. Please don't make too much mess. I did a quick test and I'm gonna set a less messy flow rate. Okay, here's the issue with grinding the magnetic chuck on this grinder. The magnet is slightly longer than the maximum travel of this machine. So I'm just gonna grind this section, shift the magnet over, and then grind the rest of the surface. And we're away. Based on what I've been reading online, I stepped over half wheel at a time, and this seemed to give me a nice result. I'm initially grinding 10 microns off the surface, following up with a one micron grind, and then finishing with essentially a spring pass at the same cutting depth. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn on the magnet. You have to do it all again. And we have results. Going from my first grind with a absolutely out of balance wheel to a balanced wheel. And then I did a final grind with the new setup. I'm getting an extremely consistent finish and very parallel parts, which is fantastic. 
I've got quite a few projects already started using this machine. I've also got multiple wheels. So I'm going to want to make multiple arbors for each wheel. And that's so I don't have to redress, rebalance for every single wheel. With the mag chuck ground, the precision part launcher is now fully set up. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Catch you on the next video. Hi, I'm Tom. Or am I? I forgot what I was going to say. It was something surface grinder related. <laughs>